Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, viewers all over the world. You are welcome to another edition of Daily Morning Devotion. Today, being Saturday, the 19th day of June, year 2021. The text for our devotion today is taken from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 4, verses 1 through 8, which read thus. The Pharisees are that Jesus was gaining and baptizing more disciples than John. Although, in fact, it was not Jesus who baptized, but his disciples. When the Lord learned of this, he left Judea and went back once more to Galilee. Now, he had to go through Samaria, so he came to a town in Samaria called Sychar. Near the plot of ground, Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus tired as he was from the journey. Sat down by the well. It was about the sixth hour. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water, Jesus said to her, Will you give me a drink? His disciples had gone into the town to buy food. Let us pray. Our blessed Redeemer, we bless you once again for the miracle of another new day. We worship you for the viewers all over the world, for your peace and tranquility over our lives. We worship you for the grace of keeping Nigeria alive. We bless you, Father, for the grace of keeping your church to continue to march forward, to move on, on in that. We worship you, Father, for the Advent Cable Network that is glowing. This is part of the advancement of the kingdom. We worship you. We say thank you in Jesus' name. Father, we ask that in your word today, Visit your church in Jesus' name. Our brothers and sisters hearing this message all over the world, Father, bless them in Jesus' name. Let your word have impact upon our lives in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. At the close of this morning devotion, may each and every one of the viewers all over the world hearing this message have ample cause to say thank you. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Going by the text for today, the gospel according to St. John, chapter 4, uh, verses 1 through 8. The topic before us this day says, dismantling every wall of discrimination. It is a command, dismantling every wall of discrimination. All over the world today, we have walls of discrimination that is putting our society into disarray. Dismantling every wall of discrimination. Going by the text, uh, from verse 4, Jesus had to go through Samaria. So he came to a town in Samaria called Sychar. Near the plot of ground, Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Ordinarily, an average Jew in Jesus' time would do all things possible to make sure that they avoid passing through Samaria with this back into their history. Because there is a wall of enmity between the Jews and the Samaritans. Because the Samaritans they are the intermarriage between the Jews and the Gentiles. 
And since and the Jews from Judah, they believe they are not pure breed of their nation. So there is a wall of enmity. But thank God for Jesus Christ. He dismantled that wall of enmity. Because it's a taboo for an average Jew, being a man, to even speak in public to a woman, talk more of a Samaritan woman. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus tired as he was from the journey. Sat down by the well. It was about the sixth hour. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus was gaining and baptizing more disciples than John, although in fact it was not Jesus who baptized but his disciples, when the Lord learned of this, he left Judea and went once more to Galilee because his time was not yet up. He left the place so that he would not be arrested. And on his journey, it was around about 12 noon at the sixth hour, he was tired. He had already sent his disciples uh, to the city of Samaria to go and buy food. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water, Jesus said to her, Will you give me a drink? His, his disciples had gone into the town to buy bread. Let's see, according to uh, Daily Fountain, dismantling every wall of perdition. In ancient Israel, the Jews ordinarily had no dealing with the Samaritans. Thirsty and wearied from his journey from Judea back to Galilee, Jesus being a Jew, asked for a drink from a woman of Samaria. There is something about the way Jesus lived that challenges our sentiments and biases. It shakes our worldview, cultures, and traditions. Something about the way Jesus lived that challenges our sentiments today and the biases. Jesus shakes our world view, our culture, our tradition. He broke the gender taboo of Jewish men, not talking to a woman in public, and also the cultural hostility between Jews and Samaritans. Jesus did not allow the prevailing bias of his time to prevent him from striking a conversation with a woman in need of spiritual restoration. Thank God for Jesus today. Uh, if he were to be subject to the biases of his day, to the taboo, to the tradition, the Samaritan woman wouldn't have received the gospel. But we thank God, Jesus in his infinite mercy broke those, th that barrier. And today, the onus is on us, brothers and sisters, viewers all over the world, that we too, According to the uh, title given us today, topic given us today, dismantling every wall of discrimination, we too should strive to come out of our shells, to dismantle, to break, to put asunder every wall of discrimination so that the gospel could expand, so that our society could be at peace, so that our nation could be at peace. True Christian living would demand the, the dismantling of every wall of division. That is, wall of division of religion, of tribe, of denomination, of class, of gender, etc., etc. If we are true Christians, if truly we have accepted Christ as our Lord and Savior, we shouldn't allow uh, any wall of discrimination to divide us. United we stand, divided we fall. We should unite together as uh, Christians, different denominations, tribes, religion, class, gender, etc. We should not judge people. Instead, we should show them love. Because the grace we have to give us the orientation, a lot of people don't have them. And we should strive to show love to them so as to be able to share the gospel with them. We intend to look down on others who are not part of our clique, who are not part of our tribe, who are not part of our gender, who are not part of our denomination, etc. But we must remember Jesus' advice 
why do you look at the speck on your brother's eye? And uh, do not consider the plank or the log in your own eye. No matter how sinful you consider someone else to be, do not write them off. Something good can still flow out of their life if we care. God can use any person as long as they yield to him. Brothers and sisters all over the world, the command is now given to us today that we should dismantle every wall of discrimination in our home, between husband and wife, among a nuclear family or extended family. In our societies, we should dismantle every wall of discrimination so as to move forward, so as to live at peace, so as to be a brother's keeper, so as to help one another. We should strive to dismantle every wall of discrimination. We should not be uh, fond of ourselves. Who are we? It is only God, it is by the grace of God that we are what we are. So we should, as Christians, dismantle, struggle, strive to dismantle every wall of discrimination. No matter how sinful we consider someone else to be, we should not write them off. God still loves them. Jesus loved them. We should strive to show them love and present the gospel in the simplest form to them. The grace to do so, may God grant unto us in Jesus' name. And maybe you have been written off. Maybe people have uh, despised you. And because of that, you want to kill yourself? No. Don't kill yourself. Jesus loves you. God loves you. Accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. Accept Jesus today. Yield unto him. Confess your sins unto him. Accept him as your Lord and Savior. He loves you. Your future is in his hand. Don't depend on today by the comments of people and write yourself off. No. Christ still loves you. Whatever you are passing through today, the love of Christ is there. Even the Samaritan woman, a prostitute for that matter, even though she was not called a prostitute, but she, she has married five husbands, and even the husband she, she was with was not even her husband. And Jesus revealed everything to her. And through that love, by breaking the barrier of the biases of Jesus' day, he was able the woman was able to accept the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And not she alone. She, she, she brought even people from her community. The, 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 she, she, she was even uh, an echo to blow the gospel all around her. Uh, fathers and uh, brothers and sisters all over the world, the onus is on us to dismantle every wall of discrimination, every wall of perdition. Let's move ahead. Let's a free mind to preach the gospel. Let's show love, even to those who hate us, even to those who are the enemy, enemies of the gospel. Let's show love to them. Let's embrace them. Let's find a way of preaching to them, of telling them the love of God, of showing them the love of God. We should not judge. Let us not judge them. Let us not judge them. Let us show love to them. Let us embrace them. And the grace to do so, God will grant unto us in Jesus' name. Prayer for today. Lord Jesus, I pray against all forms of discrimination in my life. May your love prevail in my life. Pray along with me. Lord Jesus, I pray against all forms of discrimination in my life. May your love prevail in my life. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for viewers all over the world. I pray for viewers all over the world, whatever they may be, what they, they may be passing through. Father, all form of discrimination against anyone. Father, let your love prevail. Even in Nigeria, let your love prevail. In each state, let your love prevail. In each family, let your love prevail. In each society, let your love prevail. Father, let love overcome hatred. Reign supreme in your church. Reign supreme in the Christian fold. Reign supreme, O oh God. Reign supreme, O oh God. Unite us together. Let there be unity. Let us you be united. Thank you, Father. We worship you. We adore you, Father. And those who are passing through discrimination, 
Father, heal their wound. Heal their wound. Let your love prevail. Let your love prevail. Save them, O Lord. Save their lives, O Lord. The grace to accept you as their Lord and Savior. So as to, to, to know your love. Father, grant unto them. Thank you, Father. Let your church continue to move forward. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you so much. Meet us tomorrow, same time, same station. God bless you. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen.